Zonal isolation is a key requirement for responsible oil and gas production. Baker Hughes emphasizes best practices in cementing by improving the performance of this primary protection barrier. In the process, we safeguard underground sources of drinking water and other critical zones of interest. A well-designed cement spacer is a critical component of the cementing process. It ensures a proper seal between pipe and formation. A properly formulated spacer prevents cement contamination and assists in maintaining wellbore integrity. The Baker Hughes Seal Bond Cement Spacer is a unique system that effectively removes gel drilling fluids while reducing formation damage during the cementing process. The additive package substantially reduces filtrate invasion and prevents cement fallback after placement. If losses are severe, a proprietary blend of organic, biodegradable lost circulation materials called Seal Bond Plus can be added to seal off losses of drilling fluids and cement slurry in highly permeable formations or fractured zones. The Seal Bond Spacer is applicable in high temperature and high permeability formations with low fracture gradients and in fragile, unconsolidated and fractured formations. Let's see how the seal bond system performs under laboratory conditions. Three tests are performed at the Baker Hughes Pressure Pumping Technology Center in Tomball, Texas. Test one consists of 24 frac sand added to the bottom of the sand bed test cell, filling to the 10 centimeter line. A generic cement spacer is added to the device through the top of the cell, filling to within one centimeter from the top. The cell is then sealed and 100 pounds per square inch of pressure is applied. All of the spacer is blown through the frac sand with little resistance. Test two consists of 2040 frac sand added to the cell, filling to the 10 centimeter mark. Seal bond spacer is placed on top of this simulated gravel pack. Once again, the cylinder is filled to within one centimeter of the top. The pressure is released from the bottom of the cell. The top cap is connected to the test device and 100 PSI of pressure is applied. Notice that the seal bond spacer begins to seal the sand, which has permeability of approximately 200 darcies, allowing virtually no flow through the column of sand. The third test consists of coarse gravel with permeability of 3,500 darcies. The cell is filled to the 10 centimeter mark, as in the first two tests. Seal Bond Spacer is added with 25 pounds per barrel of Seal Bond Plus lost circulation material, filling to within one centimeter of the top of the cell. The cell is then sealed and pressure is released from the bottom. 100 PSI of pressure is applied to the cell and held constant for 30 minutes. Notice how the Seal Bond Spacer and Seal Bond Plus begin to seal this highly permeable 3500 Darcy gravel, allowing virtually no flow through the column of gravel. Now, let's see how the Seal Bond Spacer and Seal Bond Plus material perform downhole. This short animation shows identical well bores side by side, with casing landed at the desired depth. The casing is cut away to reveal fluid movement from within. The left side well bore animation shows a typical spacer system, and the right side well bore animation shows the Seal Bond system. As the spacers are displaced from inside the casing, out the guide shoe, and up the annulus, the seal bond spacer begins to form a filter cake, but the generic spacer does not. As the cement system exits the casing, the cement on the left side begins to infiltrate the formation. On the right, the seal bond system's filter cake keeps the cement slurry contained within the borehole. Upon further displacement of cement, the unprotected left side demonstrates significant loss of cement to the formation, while the seal bond system on the right side proceeds without loss. The left side continues to show loss of cement and loss of borehole integrity, while the right side shows effective cementing with good borehole protection. The seal bond spacer and seal bond plus loss circulation material have consistently ensured optimal cement placement and bonding between formation and pipe. The seal bond system, one, forms a seal to minimize filtrate invasion and cement loss into the formation. Two, 
enhances hole cleaning prior to cement placement, effectively removing gelled drilling fluid. Three, prevents cement fallback after placement. Four, reduces costly drilling rig time and mud costs associated with severe to total losses. Five, reduces squeeze jobs by enabling the cement to be circulated across lost circulation and pay zones. Six, reduces top outs by enabling the cement to be circulated to the surface. And seven, improves bond logs by maintaining integrity of the formation and cement column. Don't trust the integrity of your cement job to just any cement spacer. Use SealBot Spacer from Baker Hughes. Ask your Baker Hughes representative how our Seal Bond cement spacer can assist your zonal isolation challenges for the life of the well. For more information, go to bakerhughes.com.